Hello, I am uh, Flavio Ribicchini. I am a cardiologist. I am the chairman of the cardiovascular division of the University Hospital in Verona, Italy. I will briefly share with you our experience with renal denervation performed in a population at high risk, mainly having chronic kidney disease that has recently been published in the Journal of Nephrology. Uh, this is the story of renal denervation at this has been developed in my center. We started in 2012 using the FLEX system. Now we regularly perform nearly 10 to 12 cases per month with the spiral catheter. The main findings of our paper uh, are in this slide related to the baseline characteristics and the procedure. As you can see, these are much older patients compared to those enrolled in clinical trials and much sicker. Indeed, 70% of these patients have advanced CKD, more than a half is diabetic, and 30% had already a history of a cardiovascular event, even a PCI, a bypass, or a previous myocardial infarction. And all these patients had resistant hypertension, indeed not controlled, as you can see in this blood pressure measurement, despite the use of a mean of 5.4 different drugs. Regarding the procedural characteristics, the spiral group has received a renal denervation in, in the mean of 40 points at the two kidneys place. The mean contrast volume is much lower than that uh, published in clinical trials. It's below 60 millimeters of mercury and uh, we had not assisted to important periprocedural complications. Regarding efficacy, as you can see, measuring both the ambulatory 24-hour blood pressure or the office uh, blood pressure change, these values are very similar to those observed in the reported trials, in particular in the complex population included in the Global Simplicity Registry. So it's very rewarding to see that the same observations that we have read in the population, in the, in the publications, it's observed in our experience. And, uh, and a very important issue is related to safety. As I said, we have not assisted to important vascular problems, but even more important when we analyze a population with uh, chronic kidney disease is the renal function after one year uh, that as you can see, remains totally unchanged. So, this is what I wanted to share with you uh, in relation to our real life experience performed in Verona. Well, this is my personal opinion, but I think that the most important thing of, of this initiative is that the work is absolutely real life. This has, these are unselected patients or rather selected on, on, on the complexity and it is a totally spontaneous, independent, and non-sponsored study. And there are no many of these experiences in the literature. And uh, I think this makes a very important contribution to understand the real applicability of the third and final. Well, certainly an interventionalist is not happy to treat a patient with advanced CKD because you are always concerned about the possibility of further worsening his kidney function with the important implications that this may have at the long term. But the data we have observed uh, related to the efficacy and the safety tell us that these patients have no treatment perspective despite their this small prognosis. So I, I would underline this point of our, of our publication. Well, safety has never been an issue with renal denervation. Indeed, even in the negative uh, results of the hypertension 3 triads, the safety endpoint was achieved. But of course, it's always something that has to be monitorized. And uh, in our experience, even in patients with impaired renal function, this is not an issue. So uh, if it is safe in such a complex and high risk population, you can gather that it might be even safer in, in patients that just have high blood pressure. 